as Isaac the artist we're gonna start in cinema 4d once we're done with it we're gonna go to key shot as always you know play with some material some lightning nice and easy time waits for no man let's hit it so here we are cinema 4d it's always okay strawberry cylinder in there uh press and be on the keyboard at segment one go to caps uncheck that okay yes it's unchecked go to a scaling tool scale that down go to object there i just want to see the brightness and the height while i'm scaling this baby down scale it down one more you can use any height you want I'm just gonna keep going down till I find something that I'm looking for. Mm, this one looks okay. Hit H on the keyboard. Hit H on the keyboard. Scale it down. Mm, scale it up a bit. At this point, I'm just got trying to get the height. Okay, this one will do for me. This height will do for me. Hit C on the keyboard. Go to polygon mode look for polygon close tool close that at the bottom selection tool select that hit i on the keyboard extrude in once uh, again hmm i'm gonna hold control move that up now go to the scaling tool scale that in Okay, I'm gonna leave it there for now. If I wanna change, I will change it later on. Okay, go to edge mode, UL on the keyboard. Select that ring edge. Go to scale two, hold control, scale that in, leave it there. Okay, go to the move tool while you're holding control, move it up, move it up. Ah, uh, let's see. Uh, okay, I think uh, that height will do. Let's put this baby in a sub D. Okay, KL on the keyboard. Symmetrical cut. Make sure it's enabled. Put two there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Press N on the keyboard. Just want to see how it looks. Looks okay. Not bad but at the bottom there it looks funny let's crank those up still looks funny go to polygon mode select that okay hit q on the keyboard still selected then hit i okay extra inner mm -hmm. okay for now that will do k all on the keyboard Oh, I'm gonna make cut there. Go to polygon mode, UL on the keyboard. Press, press Q to disable the sub D. Select that portion. Press D on the keyboard. Extrude. Okay. That will do. Enable the sub D by pressing Q or going there. On the object panel. Okay, KL again, KL one more time. Put two there. Unselect symmetrical cuts. Now we gotta put single cuts. I'm gonna put one there, another one there. Okay, symmetrical cut, select again. Put two there, that has to be a hard surface. Oh, wow that's clean that's pure clean okay at this point we have the shape just gonna save an increment since i made progress we are almost there so what's left now i think it's to add uh, some thickness to this while that is selected alt control i mean you hold control to press A to control all the polygons. 
press D on the keyboard to extrude. Okay, now KL. Symmetrical card and select. Put one in there. Okay. Put another one over there. Okay. Seven increment. Okay, now we have our bubble. That looks nice. Can't complain on my side. Okay, what is left now is to create a lid. But before that, I'm gonna rename that to glass. Okay. Drop another cylinder in there. Oh, scale that baby down. I'm just gonna eyeball this for now. I will adjust it later on. Uh, it will do. Okay, move it up. Okay, height segment one. Mm -hmm. Let's make a copy for in case if I make a mistake, I can always use that one to proceed from here. Okay, rename that to lead. Hit C on the keyboard, select those polygons at the bottom. Hit delete on the keyboard to get rid of those. Now let's select some polygons around there. Select one, you skip, you select one, you skip. Okay, let's keep going. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, share with friends. Okay. Um, the selection there. One last selection. Press I on the keyboard. Extrude on the inside. Zoom out a bit. Okay. Now, so your skill tool, hold control. Scale on the inside while you're holding control. UL on the keyboard. Go to edge mode. Select that one at the bottom. Go to your move tool. Hold control, move it down. Okay, scale it on the outside a bit. Just a bit, not that much. Mm-hmm. Select those up there. Now let's go to bevel. Let's bevel those. Okay. Hit I on the keyboard. Put one edge there. Another one. Okay, so far so good. What's next? KL. Let's add some loop cuts. Symmetrical cut, boom, put those there. Okay, put that in a sub D. But wait, 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 I want to check something first. Select everything before we put in a sub D by control A. Hit D on the keyboard, make sure create caps are selected. KL. I'm gonna put those there. Those two look cats. Ah, go to epic mode. Now put those in a sub D. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hmm. Select that and go to edge mode. KL on a keyboard. Unselect symmetrical card. Put one there, put another there. Also feel like I should put another one. Just some, just there. Another one there. Perfect. Okay. So far so good. Put another one there. Okay, so guys, at this point, we are done. 
so what's left now is to go to key shot and uh, from there we will play around with some materials we don't have to do that much really in key shot we just draw drag and drop drag and drop we don't have to worry about setting your lights adjusting values you know finding the right angle it, it's easy in key shot you know but if you want to use any other vendor of your choice of course you're more than welcome for those who are curious to know how it's done in key shot uh okay let's uh let's do this So here, here we are in KeyShot, okay, uh, get your file, saved as a, an FBX format, drop it in there, hit import. Okay, we have our mesh, we have our mesh, okay, mm, let's see materials, yes, there's two. Uh, it's the lead in the class as expected Okay uh, Let's start with an HDRI my personal favorite Drag and drop go Lightning select product and caustics since we're gonna use glass code environment Ground reflections mm material let's go to paint and waffle let's go with this orange color drag and drop there let go okay it looks good uh, now okay now let's go to plastics Plastic, optics, let's select plastic, plaster away, drag and drop, ooh, just like that, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, it looks so clean, so pure, so nice, we gotta change the color there, put something in the background, I'll go with that color, let's move this up a bit, I wanna see the complete reflection on the floor, Okay, at this point, to be honest, the render is done, you can see. But what we can do is try to use another materials. I'm just gonna find the right angle that I'm looking for. Okay. The light is bouncing, you can see. It's active. I love Keyshot, man. It gets the job done so quick. You don't have to worry about so much in terms of tweaking the materials or the light. Let's try that one. Ah, this one looks funny. Let's try the next one. This one looks sweet as well. Okay. So guys, at this point, you just drag and drop. You drag and drop, try things out and see what works for you, what you like. You know, just feel free, you know, just mess around. Let's change the color of the lid. Oh man, that looks nice, man. That looks nice, man. Like that green. So guys, I'm grateful, you know, for watching the tutorial to this point. You know, as always, you like, you share. If you have any question, you can drop any question in the comments below. Feel free, man. Okay, okay, okay. So, as I was saying, guys, at this point, you just you just drop things and see how they look. Drop, see how they look. Okay, let's go to hard plastics now. Let's go for something shiny. Boom! That is so shiny, man. That is so shiny. Let's try something hard and rough. Try and drop that one. Ooh. Ooh. Man, I love Kisha. Man, I love Kisha. So, what can I do? Let's put that. Ooh. 
ok, ok that looks bad, that looks bad, that looks bad mm. ok, ok, alright that's that looks good man can't complain really Ah, let me put another one in the bottom as well. Mm, no, don't match the two. Mm, that's just pure caustics right there. Pure caustics. You didn't have to worry about setting up the lights. You just drag and drop, drag and drop, drag and drop. Purple. Damn you, purple. Uh, I think I'm gonna render this one out. So guys, as always, Isaac the artist. Check me on Instagram. Check me on Unsplash and Pinterest. I will drop the links in the description. So you can also go to the environment tab. Just rotate and see how things are. If you want different look or you want to see the shadow on the left or, or on the right, at the back or the front, you just have to rotate that rotation of the HDRI. Simple as that really. Yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna render this out. It looks nice, man. It looks nice. I think I like that angle. So go to your render, rename your file. I'm just gonna name this glass. You can go to format, choose any other format you like. There are presets for the file size. I'm gonna go with that one. I'm gonna render this out, pause and okay. So when it's done, that's how it's going to look. Guys, I'm grateful. As always, Isaac's the artist, the mode.